Hello everybody and welcome to the PRWC That Guy with the Glasses Cup Truck Series. We're live at Daytona International Speedway. You can thank the Florida Panthers for giving us this racing series here at Daytona. So on the pole today is the 68 of Pete Chu on the outside is 20 of Luke Walker. Another TA212. How about that? Starting third is Alex Doss of the Edmonton Oilers. Fourth is actually his teammate actually. The Ottawa Senators Hiroshi Kato. Wow. First row is dedicated to the TA2 and the second row is Lego Dale Jr. 2488. How awesome is that? Wow, that's weird. Row f the fifth row five the fifth is Dylan Pope Teed of the Carolina Hurricane and sixth is Matt McMurray of the Buffalo Sabres. Starting seventh is there. From the Colorado Avalanche, Justin Perry. Sorry, it was a yawn there. Starting eighth is the um Pittsburgh Penguins is Eric Burton. Ninth is the um, Minnesota Wilds, Joseph Clark, running out the top ten. St. Louis Blues is Aaron Williams. About to go green here, folks. Let's hear the famous words in motorsports. Everyone's gonna go away clearly. Everyone's gonna, well, start off clear. Sorry about the loud music in the background. My brother is playing PS3 right now. So sorry if you hear the uh, loudness in the back. I'm trying to, uh, you're just, you're seeing the race right now, so I'll bet you follow along if you watch the entire video. Anyway, 20 lap shootout here at Daytona International Speedway at the daytime. And yeah, a little cloudy today, but we will have some sun, and we will still be going ahead for racing. And the pace car is going to be out. Pichu and Luke Walker are going to lead us to the green. And the green flag is out. We're underway at Daytona. Why don't you do that thing? Oh, sabla. Sorry, sabla. Ignore that, okay? Ignore that. And Pichu got off to a great start, but here comes Alex Dawson. Daytona's a big track, so big we have to get 20 laps into Daytona. Is this so exciting or what? And who's going to lead the first lap? It'll either be Pichu or Alex Dawson. Oh boy, this is going to be wild for the lead. It is going to be leading the first lap. It's going to be Pichu. Wow, by inches. But Alex Dawson has already taken second. With that very close finish back there, I could tell that we might be in for a wild finish. Maybe. Now Alex Dawson leading. Here comes Dylan Poteet battling for position. And so side by side, here comes Joseph Clark from the Wild coming into second. And now who's going to lead the second lap? It'll either be Dylan Poteet or Joseph Clark. It is Dylan Poteet. And here comes Dion Scott, hard charging in for second, and maybe the lead! Maybe the lead! Dion Scott, he's got it, and Dion Scott now the leader. But wait a minute, here comes Jacob Lawler! Here comes Jacob Lawler for the lead, he's gonna try to get a piece of it. Getting drafting help from Taylor Williams. Uh, sister of Aaron Williams, as uh, what I can tell from what I from my what I heard from. Who's gonna lead that lap? It's either gonna be Aaron Taylor Williams or Jacob Lawler. It is gonna be a close finish. Let's see. Oh, Lawler led that lap. Yep, Lawler led that lap. We still got a lot of racing to go, folks. And here's Taylor Williams for the lead. 
Here comes Connor Breton coming in for second. And here comes Connor Breton. Breton gonna go for the lead. Getting help from Kyle Livingston on the bump drafting help. And yep, he got it. Breeden's got it. So he's either going to be uh, Breeden or Livingston that's going to be leading this lap. Let's see who leads it. And it's Breeden that leads the lap. And now Kyle Livingston looking behind. Oh! Oh boy, he's got room from Jake Rogers. And now Breeden is going to pull away. Breeden pulls away a bit, but will Rogers catch up? Oh no, here comes Nicholas Guerrera, battling for second. Ah blah blah! Ah blah blah! Ah blah! Ah blah! Sorry. Sorry about that, I'm a little annoying isn't it? Yeah, I know. I know! And here comes Jake Rogers! Jake Rogers for the lead. Now Jake Rogers has the lead. Here comes Nicholas Guerrera for position. They're gonna make it three wide! Guerrera has it. Guerrera got it, and now Nicholas Guerrera the leader. And now here comes Keith Merrick. Oh, wait a minute. No, maybe. Someone else could. Oh, boy. Here's Evan Gastado. Evan Gastado is going for second. And now Evan Gastado has it for second. Here comes Ryan Cooper. And oh, it's going to be close to the line. Let's see who will lead the lap. It's either Guerrero or Gastado. It is Gastado. Wow, Evan Gastado took that lap. It's not going to be for long. Here comes Ryan Cooper for the lead. Now Cooper has it. Forrester Kinoy is in second. And Forrester Kinoy is going to get that second spot. Here comes Barney Ward to battle him for second. Oh, oh, wow, Forrester Kinoy on the bumper of Ryan Cooper. And who's going to leave? Oh, boy, Kino is going to make the move. He wants the lap. Who's going to get this lap? It is going to be Kinoy. Forrester Kinoy has it with a speed of over 200 miles per hour. But Barney Ward is going to take the lead away from him easily. Now he's got Peter Salviano to face. And he's got Trent Dunham also in third. Oh, Salviano tries to make the move. He just can't do it now. Gonna have to wait for the move. Oh, he's going to do it right now. Let's see. Oh, no, it's Trent Dunham. He's going for second. He's got it. Wow, Trent Hedges second. And now he's going for the lead. Got it. Gets the lead. And now it's uh, Trent Dunham that leads. Charles Jackson behind him. He won last race at Lowe's. He's going to look for another win here. Here comes Charles Jackson for the lead. And right behind him is teammate Jack Richards. Last time they finished 1-2 at Lowe's. Believe it or not, Charles Jackson and Jack Richards. Now Jack Richards wants to lead over... Let's see who's going to lead the lap. It's either Jackson or Richards. It's... Richards. Jack Richards led that lap. But we are halfway through the race. Here comes a Roshi Kato. Hiroshi Kato worked his way back to the front. Now Kato wants to lead. Also, here comes uh, the 66 of uh, Eric Burton as well. Now Kato makes the pass on Richards. And Eric Burton is up next if he can hold on to his line. Oh, now it's a close race. He's either going to be Eric Burton or Hiroshi Kato for the lead. 
Kato's gonna lead the lap. And now here he is. Here is Eric Burton for the lead. Now Burn has the lead. Matt McMurray right behind him. Matt McMurray gonna make that move. Oh, and they're getting greedy. Three wide. And here comes Jacob Lawler going to make this three wide for third. And he's got it. He's going for second. Now he's going to try for the lead and take it away from Matt McMurray. Who's going to lead this lap? It is going to be... Lawler, I think. And it is Lawler who takes the lead. With uh, nine laps to go, here comes Aaron Williams for the lead. And Aaron Williams gets it. Kenji Oser is up next, right behind him. And Nicholas Guerrero, though, is going for the second spot again. Trying to catch up to Aaron Williams, who's the leader now. And now we'll hit not eight laps to go when someone else, either Guerrero or Williams, will hit the stripe. It is going to be Aaron Williams. And here comes, Jake, here comes Jacob Lawler. No, Joseph Clark going for second. He's got it. Now Lawler. No, Clark is going for the lead. He's got it easily. Now Dylan Poteen will try to make the move. And now Dawson's making a three wide. Here comes Jack Richards. And now Joseph Clark with the lead. Alex Dawson is just behind him. Going to make the move here right now. Who's going to lead the lap? It is. Wow. Oh, no, wait. No, it's Alex Dawson that leads the lap. Alex Dawson leads the lap. Wow, but Jack Richards takes the lead easily. And here comes Justin Perry. He's trying to retake it again. And here's Pichu right behind. And now Taylor Williams is in second. Five laps to go, and here comes Taylor. Six laps to go, here comes Williams, who's going to lead the lap. And that lap will be led by Taylor Williams. And here's Pichu coming from behind. He'll take it again. Pichu's taking the lead. Hunter Britain right behind. Here's Pichu. And now Breton will make the pass on for the lead. And Connor Breton makes the pass for the lead. He's got it. With five laps to go, a caution might end the race, but we have not had a single caution yet. And Breton takes the lead. With five laps to go. Anybody here could win this. Jacob Lawler right behind. Breton is still holding on to his lead. Mom and dad are on their way. I know. Can you do okay. Ah! Sorry, it's just that my brother's a little annoying today. No, Sorry. You're, you're Sorry, I will. No, you're not. So yes, I will. You're Sorry, I had to cut the little bit of the part right there. Sorry, I had to cut a little bit. It just was a little error there, but don't worry, you're not gonna miss much. And Breen's still holding on with four laps to go. Four laps to go. A caution will end the race. Guess what? And he flag ends it. Woohoo. Three wide for the lead. Oh boy. Keith Merrick. And Forrester Kinoy. Three wide. Wow. And now Forrester Kinoy with the lead. And now, oh, Dred Dunham is getting positioned for second. 
And now it's been a two-car race, maybe. But there's three laps to go. Anybody can win it. Three laps to go when he hits the stripe. And now Dunham wants to make his move. He'll lead that lap. And now, oh boy, the little tap between him and Ryan Cooper. Ryan Cooper going for the lead. He's got it. Ryan Cooper the leader. Now Nicholas Guerrero trying to repeat his success earlier. He's going to try to get another win here. And here's three wide again. Taylor Williams is now the leader. And Taylor Williams the lead with two laps to go. Taylor Williams leads and here comes Xavier Livingston right behind. Like I said though, anybody could win this race. Taylor Williams still holding on. Xavier waiting for the right move. And he's gonna make the move. Now he's going to. Xavier Livingston makes the move. Now it's gonna, here we go. Final turn. Xavier Livingston's gonna see the white flag. Somebody here is gonna win here tonight. White flag is out and the leader in the next to last lap is gonna be... Xavier Livingston, but a white flag is out, last lap. And the leader now is Eric Burton, here comes Peter Saviano. Will Saviano hold on to the lead? Or will Hiroshi Kano take it away? Oh, and here comes the nuts, this could be good for Peter Saviano. Here comes Justin Perry. For a second, this could be good. Will Saviano hold on or will Justin Perry make the move? Let's see if Perry will make the move. And he will! It's going to be a close race! And it's going to be! Who's it going to win it? It is a close race! And it's so close I can't tell who won. And it was Peter Saviano that takes the checkered flag. Wow! By 0 0.00 tenths of a second. Incredible! It was almost a dead heat, maybe. Wow! I don't believe it. Let's look at that again. I mean, my God. Look at that. Here's a close finish. Let's see if he nudges. Let's see if there's any advantage. Oh, my goodness. Look at the closeness of this race between him and Justin Perry. You can't even tell who won. You cannot even tell who won the race. Yeah, I can't even tell who won the race. I, I honestly cannot look from here. This is the best view we can give you. And look at that. That is just a close finish. Peter Saviano. Unbelievable. And it's Peter Saviano that wins it, beating out Justin Perry by 0 0.00 tenths of a thousandth of a second. Wow. Amazing racing, folks. A wild finish. Look at the closeness there. I mean, wow. So after that wild finish... Oh, now they can score. That's two one hundredths of a second. Two one thousandths of a second. And the scoreboard, it said 0, 0.00. Yeah, right there, 0, 0.00. But now we know how close it was. Two one thousandths of a second. Two one thousandths of a second between Saviano and Perry. That is incredible. I mean, it was wild. And now here's your final results. Charles Jackson's third, Luke Walker fourth, Aaron Williams fifth, Ken Hiroshi Kato, Dylan Potita, Eric Burnt, Kenji Oster, and Theo Stiegel, the top ten. Here's your best of the rest.
Wow, the leaders, the 330 car, the 30th Breton, was behind by just 1.3 seconds. Anybody could have won the race. Really, anybody could have. Wow. How about this finish? Peter Salviano ekes out Justin Perry by two one thousandths of a second in the closest race we've ever had. Wow. Oh, look at that. A heartache for Pichu. Start on the pole, finish next to last. So he gets our first heartache award ever. Tough break for Pichu. Better luck next race. Anyway, after that, we'll see we're going to have it. Next race will be at Homestead, Miami. And it, no, it's not the final race of the season. We're just racing at Homestead because Tampa Bay Lightning wanted it earlier. And they got it earlier. So be there for Homestead, Miami next. For 14 laps of awesome action at Homestead. We will see you later.